Oh, I have control. <laughs> All right, well, that was a bit of an odd place to end the one disc. They finale moment like you would expect out of... Oh, was I supposed to go the other direction? Final Fantasy 7 or 8 or 9 or anything like that. It was just sort of, oh, look at that. It's heading for the... Where was it heading? I, fuck, I don't even know. Oh, wait, I got the key. Ah, shit. Should have played this the same day I played the last episode. I would have remembered where it was at. It just sort of ended, and we pick it up here, and we're in the middle of the same dungeon. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Let's get going. So, I must have run a long way to get here. I really wonder if they slowed down her running movement in order to make the game take longer. Because it seems pretty clear that the animation shows her running faster than she actually moves. And, I mean, look at that. I mean, this one isn't as too bad, isn't too bad here, but in other sections of the game, it does make more sense. It is a little more obvious. I guess the speed she's moving is a tad more realistic. People in real life don't sprint everywhere they go. And the speed she's moving is more of a jogging pace, which, I mean, I can keep a jogging pace up for hours. And I'm guessing, being a police officer, she'd be able to, too. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Where was I supposed to go? Well, I didn't do Warehouse. I think Warehouse might have just been a... Might have just been a... Uh, oh shit, I didn't want to go so... Might just be an extra part of the game where you pick up some extra items. So, I don't know, since I already started the episode in this... And I don't want to start the next one. We're here. I was already here. Now I've read that there was supposed to be a key. Well, maybe not out here. It's daytime all of a sudden. Holy shit. Magic. One of the problems with the pre rendered backgrounds, you can't so easily. The enemies here were a tad overpowered for me while I was going through here earlier. Hopefully not going to be too much of a problem now. Gain some experience. I is more powerful than she was before. I didn't get any better weapons or anything like that or better armor. But she's a higher level. Supposed to be a key somewhere. There it is. Really? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> what do I got here? Oh, look at that. There aren't a lot of keys in this game. I mean, I guess... It's not really any more or less than, say, Resident Evil. But considering how keys are clearly intended to be locations, certain levels, certain dungeons, all that kind of thing... You'd think they would have ended up being more. But I guess they didn't want to be too dependent on that kind of puzzle. I haven't gotten in any fights yet. Oh, narrow rock walkway. Ah, damn it. <laughs> How do I dodge any attacks here? Oh. 
You some bitch. Sweet. Get that attack power. Yeah, this is this is good. The permanent boost to stats are always are always nice. And a tool. Tools are nice. Oh, 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 I thought she was just jumping in the hole. Shit. You know, I always assumed that these cables were going to be covered in grease. So it would be a little difficult to keep a hold on them. Oh, boss battle. Oh, shit. Giant crab. Okay, focus on the right claw first. Hundred sixty five. Oh, shit, no. Ah, oh, defense down. Hopefully, that wears off soon. Not sure what taking up this. Ah. This may not be working out for me. Got it. Sweet. All right. Other claw. Damn it, that reload animation fucked me over. I think I do more than 26 damage. Taking cover first. It's got to be pretty close to dead. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Stand in front of it. Ha. 
All right, I think I got a good pattern down. It uses this a lot more often than it uses the laser eyes, so that's good. As long as I can stay to its side and flank the bastard, I shouldn't be able to should be able to avoid taking damage. Disgusting looking thing. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I guess she has to be walking for the PE to recharge. Oh, contact damage. It's a tad too close. Got it. Got a freaking rocket launcher. All right, now it's all coming back to me. <laughs> the rocket launcher is the most powerful weapon in the game, or at least I think it should be. But you only get a limited amount of rockets. And I think I may already have picked them up. Where are they? Uh, rocket crate nine. So I gotta. S oh shit! What? I gotta save it for boss battles. I out with that. Don't die! And oh my god! Get away! <laughs> Just took. Too damn long bending over to pick up the freaking tool. Just seeing if there's anything else in here. I think maybe I got everything there was to get. Yeah, that's probably it. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. An elevator shaft with no elevator. Or not an elevator shaft at all. Is it just a, uh, a hoist? It's probably what it is. And the eve later on, be able to blow her freaking head off. Fantastic. How the door opening animation started up like four feet from the door. <laughs> Have I burnt off all the encounters in this area? Seems like some of the not random random encounters in this game are just like... There's a sphere, an area that you enter into. That area the encounter starts. But after you do the first fight, it doesn't happen again. That enemy's dead. And there are other parts where you can re-encounter and it respawns. I, don't, I haven't seen any... I haven't re-encountered any enemies in there. Just the one in the area that I hadn't gone into yet. I was trying to leave. Anyway, I guess that was everything in the warehouse. And that a good place to end the episode. So thanks for watching.